Omaha is home to one of the most bizarre murderers on record, Nico Jenkins. You may have heard his name shouted by video game players when they go off on someone. This is because he is truly psychotic. At just 15 years old, Nico was arrested for aggravated assault and carjacking on multiple accounts. He served 10 of the 18 years he was meant to, and then released from prison on what most believe is a travesty of justice. He was no model prisoner. He continued his violent assaults while in prison, showing that he was prone to these kinds of outbursts. Less than two weeks after his release, Jenkins lured two men to a spot near a swimming pool under the pretense that two women wanted to have a sexual encounter. He shot them in the head and then turned out their pockets. Just over a week after that, Jenkins posed with a friend for a Facebook photo and then shot him twice in the back later that night. A couple of days after that, he shot a bartender several times in the face with a shotgun after she had just finished locking up the bar at the end of her shift. And just over a week after that, Jenkins was arrested on unrelated terrorist threats. By this time, enough evidence had come to light to link him to the murders. But surprisingly, Jenkins fully confessed them in an eight-hour-long interview. He said that he had killed these people as a sacrifice to Apophis. Jenkins said that he would protect Apophis' kingdom with animalistic savage brutality. On a side note, there is a meteor heading towards our planet right now that scientists believe could strike the Earth within this century. It has been named Apophis, after the serpentine Egyptian god of chaos. Jenkins demanded to represent himself in his trial, during which he would often speak in tongues and howl at the courtroom. He would also laugh when the prosecutor would describe the horrible things that he did to his victims. During his incarceration, Jenkins cut his tongue, trying to make it look more like a serpent. He attempted to carve 666 into his own forehead, but it got reversed because he was looking into a mirror. And most noticeably, he cut off his own genitalia in order to make an idol of his god, Apophis. How he keeps getting access to razor blades is unknown to the guards. Most people think that he's insane, but here in Omaha, we know it's not entirely unlikely that he is in communication with an Egyptian god. Perhaps he is our own evil version of Moon Knight. No matter, this is what we deal with here. Omaha is a dark place indeed. <laughs>